Alrighty, welcome back. Part two. Okay. Uh, so what kind of things did we deal with um, with my husband's spinal cord injury? So he is, um, all technicalities speaking, um, he had a significant amount of injuries. Um, but the, the thing that we're dealing with the most still at this time is his spinal cord injury. He is a C5, C6 incomplete. Um, so the spinal cord was in his case he had a lot of swelling a lot of edema building up on the spinal cord in two different sections of his spine um, and that is what has led to the paralysis um, best kind of description i can give you for the spinal cord injuries is really you know you think of um you know a complete injury is going to be severed like there's definitely a there's no longer signals or if there are any it's going to be very very limited but that signal has been cut off um in our case, you know, the spinal cord is, is a very sensitive, um, delicate object. So think about a banana. So, you know, bananas are squishy and if you dent that banana, yeah, you're going to see that, that indentation, you're going to see that significant injury. Um, and so even though it wasn't severed, the banana was not cut in half. Um, it's definitely dented. It's probably got some bruising on the outside. Um, you know, it, it's, it's not as pretty and uh, but it's still connected and there still are signals being sent down um, however anywhere where that damage was done we're, we're seeing significant deficits in those areas so um, for us specifically my husband can use his arms um, they were they were pretty weak and limited in the beginning and he had a significant shoulder injury that required a couple of surgeries um, he's all plated up and pinned up um, but uh, you know, definitely recovering in that sense. So he's able to use his arms. Um, he can't quite raise maybe to, you know, a little over shoulder height on the, on the damaged arm. Um, but, uh, still is able to go about his day. Once he's in his wheelchair for the day, he's making dinner, he's running through our grocery list. He does all the stuff. He, he manages a lot on the home front. Um, he goes to the gym. He, he, we have a, a Planet Fitness that's nearby us. He's able to take his wheelchair. He rides down to the Planet Fitness. He does a lot of like arm work while he's there. Um, yeah, so he, he's working on upper body strengthening. As far as um, function, because he's an incomplete injury, he's able to, um, with time, with time, about eight weeks after his injury, uh, six weeks after his injury, he started wiggling toes on one foot, then, then the next foot a couple days later. Um, about eight weeks, he was able to kind of move his ankles. And then over that first year of time, we saw a lot of change. We're um, able to kind of move his knees a little bit. This is definitely in a gravity eliminated situation. So if he's in standing, it's just not really working as much as he would like it to. He doesn't have all of that strength. It's an extremely difficult thing to do. Um, so, uh, pool therapy is wonderful for him. He's able to do a lot more in the pool. He's able to swim independently. He can do some walking in the pool. Um, and, and that really is beneficial for him, but on the daily he's home. And, uh, while I'm doing all of my job and running around doing the transportation business that I started, um, he's at home managing the home front, uh, you know, keeps things in line there. So, uh, that's it for part two. That explains a little bit. I hope <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.